Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video and in all the other upcoming videos in this playlist, let's discuss the workbook exercises from the newest edition of the book, Apprenons le Français, part 2. In this video, let's discuss the workbook exercises from lesson 0. We will make a note of the answers in this Word document. The link for the document is in the description below. Lesson 0, the name of the lesson is En clang d'oeil sur la France. The first exercise, relier les colonnes, match the following. The first one, le Luxembourg. Le Luxembourg, it's a, a neighboring country of uh, France. So option E is the correct answer. En pays voisin de la France. Second one, la Seine. Seine is a river in France. So en fleuve français, option F. The third one, le Massif Central. It's a mountain in France. So une montagne française. Then fourth one, Chanel. Chanel is un couturier français, a French uh, fashion designer. Fa uh, uh, and the fifth one, La Marseille. La Marseille is l'hymne national. The national anthem of France is called as La Marseille. La France, the sixth one, La France, that is L'Hexagone, the nickname given um, uh, for France is, another name for France is L'Hexagone. So, uh, these are the answers. The second exercise, complete selon le cas, uh, complete the blanks. The first one, la dash est un monument très populaire à Paris. Um, so, we can write la tour Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower is a very popular monument in Paris. The second one, la monnaie utilisée en France, c'est uh, l'euro. The currency used in France is euro. The third one, le dash et le dash sont des vins français. You can write any two wines of your choice. Um, so, you can write le bourgogne. Et le Bordeaux sont uh, des vins français. So, the, uh, these two, Bourgogne and Bordeaux, are French wines. The fourth one, le drapeau français. The French flag is uh, dash, dash, and dash. So, we can write uh, le drapeau français est bleu, blanc, et rouge. It is blue, white, and red. The fifth one, dash est une belle cathédrale à Paris. Uh, we can write Notre Dame. Notre Dame est une belle cathédrale à Paris. Notre Dame is a beautiful cathedral in Paris. The third one, mettez les accents convenables. We need to put the accent. So all these um, words, uh, they're given to us without the accents. We need to put the correct accents. The first one is Février, the letter E takes an aigu accent. Second one, hôtel, the letter O takes a circumflex accent. The third one is été, été is summer. Both the E's uh, take, uh, they, they take, uh, take an aigu accent. Uh, the fourth one, américain, uh, this letter E takes an aigu accent. The fifth one is garçon, we put the uh, CD accent under the letter C. The sixth one is Frère, we put the grave accent over the letter E. The seventh one is Noël, we use the tréma accent over the letter E. And the eighth one is Règle, we put the grave accent over the letter E. So, uh, let's move ahead. The fourth exercise, nommez les vivants, name the following. First one, un fromage Francais, a French cheese. You can write any cheese, um, for example, le camembert, le brie, le roquefort, etc. The second one, un pays voisin de la France, a neighboring country of France. Again, uh, there are many options. You can write l'Allemagne, le Luxembourg, or la Belgique, la Suisse, etc. The third one, un couturier français, a French fashion um, uh, fashion designer, Chanel, and you can also write any other um, fashion maker. The fourth one, la ville capitale de la France, the capital city of France, that is Paris. 
the fifth one a museum of france you can write le musée du louvre or any other museums of your choice the fifth exercise mettez la ponctuation appropriée uh, put the correct punctuation or the symbols the first one is le point le point is nothing but a dot the second one is le trait d'union le trait d'union is a hyphen the third one is la virgule la virgule is comma fourth one is l'apostrophe l'apostrophe is the, the apostrophe the fifth one le point d'interrogation that is the question mark and uh, the sixth one le point d'exclamation that is the uh, exclamation mark so these are the answers the sixth exercise dit vrai ou faux say true or false first one le franc est la monnaie unique européenne so franc is the european the, the only european currency that is uh, faux false it is euro the second one on trouve des fromages français en inde we find french uh, cheeses in india um yes we do vrai in uh, some of the supermarkets or you know big stores they do sell uh, french cheeses and you can find it in india as well the third one le drapeau français a deux couleurs the french flag has two colors that is four false the fourth one paris est uh, l'épicentre de la mode paris paris is the epicenter of fashion that is vrai true the seventh exercise mettez la liaison à la place appropriée put the liaison or the link in the appropriate place so you know that um, uh, since french is a language that is uh, spoken pretty fast for example if you consider these two words we we pronounce it as nous écoutons instead of saying nous écoutons right because nous écoutons sounds much better and uh, there's a flow in the language so um, uh, so th that's what you need to do over here you need to uh, uh, indicate where to use the liaison uh, in these sentences so the first one is comment allez vous there's a li liaison between como and aller comment allez vous the second one c'est an hôpital c'est an hôpital so liaison between a and hôpital there could also be a liaison between c and un uh, that's also uh, both the ways are correct you, you can either say c'est an hôpital you can also say c'est an hôpital both of them are correct the third one is les arico vers son frais the green beans are fresh so there's a liaison between these two words the fourth one nu zikuton yin chanso uh, we are listening to a song and there's a liaison between nu and ikuton the fifth fifth one madrid etienne belleville there's a liaison between these two words and the sixth one ya yin fi ya nom so there's a liaison between these two words um we say a nom so there's a girl and a boy uh, there, there's a girl and a man the eighth exercise regardez l'image et répondez look at the picture and respond first one the first question qu'est-ce que c'est what is this or what is that so we can write c'est la tour eiffel it is the eiffel tower the second one où est elle située where is it situated or where is it located we can say l a c t u a a p a r i it is located or it is situated in paris so these are the answers with this we complete the workbook exercises from lesson 0 in the next video let's discuss the exercises from lesson 1 Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, abhiyanto. See you soon.